Well, Government Mule started as an experiment. We, uh, Alan Woody and myself were full-time members of the Allman Brothers, but the Allman Brothers only worked a fairly small part of the year, so it left a lot of time open for us to kind of do what we wanted to do. I had just done a solo record and toured behind that solo record, and Woody and I had been discussing the possibility of putting some sort of project together, but it was very much a no-pressure sort of situation. In the beginning, we were going to make a very low-budget kind of experimental record with a, a lot of improv and, and not a lot of song structure. But the more we started hanging out and uh, working on material, the more it kind of became a real band. And uh, But even with the first record, we didn't have any aspirations on a second record or a third record or a fifth year or a tenth year or anything. It was just one step at a time. And hopefully that's one of the things that uh, helped us kind of grow organically because we weren't putting any pressure on ourselves. Uh, I don't even think we were intending to tour when the band first formed. We were just having fun and and okay, well, let's make a record. Well, you made a record, now you got a tour. Okay, oh, now you have a fan base. What are you gonna do about that? Uh, well, I don't know. I guess we'll have to make a second record and tour some more. And then we all became like brothers. We just kind of became really close friends and, and we're spending so much time together and always playing and rehearsing and writing songs. And at the same time, the the Allman Brothers Band was kind of starting to disintegrate a little bit. There was no rehearsing, no recording, uh, no songwriting. And so at some point we made the decision, you know, if we're going to do this the right way, we're going to have to cut the apron strings and, and be a full-time band. And so in 97, we left the Allman Brothers to concentrate on Government Mule.